won't stop. Won't stop. You can try, but I won't stop. Won't stop. I can't be stopped now. I can't stop. I can't be stopped now. I can't stop. I can't be stopped now. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We have Chef Rose here. And I love his story. I had the opportunity to meet him at the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. And one thing he shared was that he opened right before the pandemic. That right there, my friend, for him to open before the pandemic and still be in existence is a major testimony to perseverance. And like, I want them to hear from you. <laughs> so you started out in 2019. September, man. We opened up in September 2019. So, you know, opening a restaurant is can be very, 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 very difficult and challenging. And, you know, the first thing about a restaurant is location, location, location. Mm -hmm. But, you know, circumstances allow you to get to whatever lo location you can get. That's where we are. So it was very, it was very interesting because challenging enough already starting out. And then March, what, late February, March, going yeah. into <laughs> March, I believe it was in 2020, when the pandemic hit us. Oh, man, it was, it was brutal. It was brutal. Um, but it, it, what's funny is this, we pretty much was preset, it's crazy. Look inside. When the pandemic hit and they came up with restriction for whatever restaurant can be open, we was already set up, with, we, we already preset some strange new murder I know why, you know. <laughs> but we was preset that we, uh, we can serve continuously without closing down. So we got lucky oh, right there. Okay. So we was one of the only restaurants um, that was open during the, throughout the whole pandemic. This door have not closed throughout the whole pandemic. When the restaurant was closing down and they was the got to go back to the drawing board and we say, hey, are we going to keep the door open and follow the guidelines that was given by the government? It was very difficult. But we was pretty much already set. We just took a piece of tape, um, piece of plastic, just run across the top, and that was it. We was mm -hmm. already set. But when the pandemic came about, though, one of the smartest thing that I believe that I did was I stayed open late uh, throughout the night. Mm -hmm. So when the police officers and the doctors and the nurses was going to work, are coming off work late at night, God, we was working twelve hour shift. So when they get off work 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, there was, and we in the middle of the pandemic, absolutely nowhere to eat. But I kept the door open during those time, 24 hours. So I start gaining customers from just by the late night. And so they become daytime customers, and they start spreading the word. And then that spider just continued from, I think it was about at least six months I was open for the door and start creating that mm -hmm. customer base from there. Mm -hmm. And that customer base just becomes daytime customer. They start spreading the word. Mm -hmm. And so from there, it's just pretty much just, it's not, it's not easy going, but it was pretty much was a start. Then, you know, coming into the pandemic, and it's like, oh my God, what are we going to do? Yeah, because many places shut down yeah. and they haven't reopened since. Yeah. So to see that you're still standing, it's like, wow, that's, that's beautiful. Well, um, the quality um, also makes a difference because during that time, you know, everybody was scared to eat. Everybody was scared to go out. And you were not going to, you know, the place and getting your food scoop and service. <laughs> yeah. You were scared. So being that everything was cooking the order and everything was independently done, it also gave us a lot of edge ahead of the game. So you, if you don't want to go just anywhere to eat anymore, you know, you know you can come here. And you, go, you know you're really going to be fresh and cooked independently just for you and it's not sitting up waiting on a buffet. Mm -hmm. So we had another edge and we just continued just, um, the, the menu was also uh, more refreshing also. Mm -hmm. and during the pandemic, a lot of people started looking up for their health and thinking about, you know, eating healthier. Uh, we nailed it also. Uh, we uh, removed oil. Uh, from, so we don't cook with oil. Uh, we, don't, we don't cook with dairy. So those are, you know, give us more advantage of keeping the food a little bit more fresh and more tasty. And very flavorful without, without using those stuff. So um, I would say the pandemic did tremendously a lot for me instead of doing a lot of bad things. <laughs> mm -hmm. And during that time also, you know, opening a restaurant, you got to also, you go through a lot of changes with the menu, um, with what you thought you was going to serve, what was going to sell, what was not going to sell. Um, during the pandemic, it also allowed me to grow and learn more um, as I'm going, you know, this is the first time I have a complete open restaurant. I have cafes, but it's different. But it allowed me to grow and get to know what the customers really want as well. I'm glad you mentioned that because 
in any business, sometimes you go with the mindset of this is what you want to tell your clients. Right. This is the product. But when you take a step back and you're willing to listen, listen to what the listen, clients want, to the that's when you're really serving your customer base right. because now they recognize, okay, he's serving me. Not just tell me what I should get, what I should order, but when you listen to the customer, that's why I like when you mentioned in your sign about like cook it fresh and however you want it. Yeah. I was like, okay. No, um, to add, uh, mm -hmm. you don't want something in uh, your food just let me know how you want it. Yes, yeah, so yeah. when I saw that on the sign when we met him at the South Beach Wine and Food Festival, I was like, okay, we have to check out his location. Now, what would you say is one dish that you're so surprised at? Wow, you know what? This this was a hit, you know, when it, when it, oh, when it turned man. from just an idea to then you working and then you seeing people order it and enjoy it. salmon yeah. and aki mm -hmm. with that sweet plantain pumpkin waffle. Mm -hmm. um, that was a surprise. I kid you not. Mm -hmm. um, that that dish, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember what I was doing <laughs> at the time. I think I was in Jamaica. No joke, I was. And I was, I, um, uh, you know, I was trying to, I'm trying to think of that one dish that would stand out and say, okay, they go, wow, we, we could do that with Aki? Mm -hmm. And that was it, the, the, the jerk salmon and Aki and waffle. Right. That, actually, that actually blew my mind. It was like, wow, it was really, really good. And it is really, really good because we had it and we love it. Oh, and uh, we definitely love the service here, Chef Rose. For those of you, if you live in South Florida or you're visiting, make sure to stop by. We'll include the links below. But I want to say thank you for just sharing a little bit of your time with us today we know you cook you know for your customers fresh to order and just to know that you took this time to meet with us it's very special thank you again chef Rose. this looks really good guys I mean, the flavor, I'm all about flavor, and that flavor was hitting me when it came out the door. <laughs> I was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs>